Hi everybody, my name is Ladislav and I will be talking today about the depth function. In last video we ended with the plane fit function and with the section and I say that it's possible to section function to measure the depth of your feature. But now scope analysis have a special function for that and it's called depth very easily. Uh, what function does or how does it works? Generally, it takes the position in the Z for each pixel and just prepare a histogram from it. That's it. But you can calculate, you can find the peaks in the histogram and you can mark the peaks there and calculate the distance between the peaks, which carries with the distance on your feature with, between two main regions. So, firstly, or what, how to work with that, generally you click the depth function and get some results, but you can choose your area of interest or just use the stop band to execute some else. So I will use the box and just mark a few points here and you can see, hey, I have a different graph, which is calculated based on the area here, just only on this, only in this rectangle. So, what you can find here, what you can get here, are some nice histogram with the two markers. Yeah, that's the marker one and marker zero and marker one with the position, which are found automatically based on the graph they located. They are located in the peaks the histogram so was the important it corresponds with the points here and the distance between these two marker that's the depth I mean depth comparing between the substrate region and the feature region here and in our case it's almost 75 nanometers that's correct it should be something like that but Normally this would be your results, but you can play a little bit with the parameters. What kind of parameters do you have here? Firstly, the number of histogram bins. Uh, important, put there some reason of number. Low hundreds are okay. Uh, what does it mean? You can see small blue lines. That's the number of bins. So if I will put there only like 20, you can see the number of bins is much lower. Generally, you based on the bins from the histogram, you have this red curve. And this red curve right now have 20 points. So you won't have much more points to have a better results. So 300 sounds okay to me. Yeah, you can see it's relatively smooth. And there is no problem. Second is the histogram filter cut off. Genera is some kind of filter when you can like averaging. Right now it's zero, so it means no filter. But if I will put there something like 20, you can see that the red curve is much broad comparing to the histogram bins. So, don't put there a high number, if it's, there's no reason, but put there something, it's not necessary, but one, two, something like that, uh, yeah. let's say one, and you can see if there is some spike, like here, you can see it's small, oh, there's some, <clears throat> higher blue one bin of the histogram and you just filter it slightly so it could help with your result but it's a filter take it in account next point the software finds the peaks automatically con compare it the number of peaks right now found in the histogram is 68 but it trying to find the highest one 
and uh, the software say it's the another peak for analysis if the distance is higher than 10 nanometers so if i will put there just the one nanometer you will see that these two markers are next to each other if and hey that's the peak there is another one but it's not two in our case we have a two big peaks so put there some reasonable number which is higher than your south of the peak so it will not be found at the same peak but it will be found the second one so next three points or next two points are another filter which just calculate part of the peaks i usually don't play with that actually don't even know what they are used for oh generally you just show uh how much peak do you want to use for the calculation for looking for the position but i i would say the best idea is to use the whole peak but you can just cut off half of the peak if you want and to use only half for the calculation and the same with the right peak cut off. next point data range pad are generally the, uh, ex, not extrapolate, it's just changing the histogram that it will give you more bands outside of the region. So right now we are starting at zero and the maximum should be slightly higher than 100 or something like that. Uh, that's the information from the points. And we say, hey, make it bigger by five percent that's this five percent if i will put the for example 100 you can see that it expand the curve and 100 percent so it makes it double and 50 percent on the left side but there are no information from the graph itself from the image itself and 50 percent on the right side yeah i would say five percent are okay and the last point the last parameter you can play with is the x-axis if you want to have it in relative it means that you will start at zero or if you want to have absolute numbers uh, you can see that we have a shift of the peaks and we are starting below zero at minus something going up to Also, the position of the peak just switch. But uh, the reason is that the substrate is lower and this is the tar feature. It doesn't matter. The distance between these two peaks is always the same. And that's already the results tab. And the most important information here is from the peak to peak distance. And the peak to peak distance is the distance between this marker one and this marker two, or actually zero and one. And you can play actually with it, just click it and drag it. And to find the correct peak you want to use for your calculation and just read the number here. Next three points, the minimum peak depth, maximum peak depth, and the depth at histograms maximum are uh, just the information from the peak uh, first one means that uh, you have a peak it's calculated from the red curve and what's the position here top the maximum peak depth that's the second peak and again calculated from the red curve and the depth of the histogram maximum it found the highest blue bean and that's the maximum i never use these three parameters for any calculation i'm always interested in the peak to peak distance because we are uh so that's the uh, depth you are interested in and the last parameter just for information how many peaks the software found so it can help you to change the filter cutoff or peak to peak distance Histogram bins number generate the parameters. 
Okay, that's it. Easiest way how to find depth information. And that's enough for this video. And see you next time. Bye bye.